بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم brothers and sisters today i will share with you another ayah from the quran from surah taha ayah 14 here allah says i am allah there is none worthy of worship but i so worship me and offer prayer perfectly for my remembrance allah subhanahu wa here is trying to tell us that we must try to make our prayer perfect so that it will help us remember him Ibn Qayyim rahmatullah explains this beautifully in his books, The Secrets of Salah and the Inner Dimensions of the Prayer. And I would highly recommend you reading this. He describes Salah here as a banquet, like a great feast with many dishes. He says that in Salah, we are a special guest invited by Allah Azawajal when the Azan is made five times a day. And this banquet, this Salah, has been created specifically for you and me, for mankind. He says that in here, Salah has something that the, that the soul, the body and the heart requires. If those who pay special attention to it will benefit from it the most, especially if the entire Salah, you know, the, the sujood, the ruku, the standing, we pay special attention to every pillar of Salah. Through Salah, we attain the greatest desire, brothers, that is to attain the nearness to Allah, rejoice in His closeness, Basking in his love, enjoying standing before him, while all of our deeds are being presented to him, even our salah. Just like the banquet before salah, the hearts and souls are in starvation, thirsty and naked. When you rejoice in the benefits of salah, you walk away complete, content and satisfied. Just like rain nourishes the land and it bears vegetation with fruits and all types of vegetables. The heart of the believer from Salah will be enriched in Iman. He will get busy in performing good deeds the rest of his life. The slave who distances himself from Salah or does not connect to Allah during his Salah is like a land devoid of water. It becomes dry and brittle. The branches and leaves wither away and he becomes flowerless and fruitless. So such a slave cannot connect to Allah and not be able to perform good deeds. And even if he does good deeds, it does not benefit him. So brothers and sisters, if you are really able to acquire Salah in such a way that you can connect to Allah in it, I guarantee you, you will not want your Salah to end. You will in fact extend your sujood, your ruku, and will not want to do Salam at the end to finish it. And even if you do, you'll wait for the next Azan, so you can go back to Allah and get near to Him, close to Him, so you can bask in his nearness. May Allah Azawajal help us acquire this. Assalamu alaikum. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim.